it's very easy to add a component to your user database. In this example, I'll use the ZVP3306 p-channel MOSFET. Let's fire up the component wizard. I'll begin by giving the component name as ZVP3306A. Function is a p-channel enhancement MOSFET. I need both simulation and layout capability. I'll begin by selecting a suitable footprint. This way you can place the device into an ultiboard circuit layout. I'm engaging the filter here so I can track down that footprint a little bit more easily. And the one that I'm looking for starts with the phrase FET underscore TO92. Note that the filter is engaged at this point, and that really cuts down the list of available footprints. The one in particular that we need is the one that ends in 3Y. Number of pins altogether is 3. Now instead of having to draw your own symbol from scratch, we can go ahead and make use of an existing symbol from Multisim. The suitable device here is the MTD2955E. Now we associate symbol pins with footprint, footprint pins and simply do what seems to be reasonable there. Source to source, drain to drain, and so on. For model name, let's give it the same name, ZVP3306A. I have a SPICE model directly from ZTEC for the uh, device in question. Check out the copyright notice here. It says it's okay to use this model for research and design. Paste in that model data. And at this point it gets a little tricky if you're not careful. We are needing to associate symbol pins with model nodes. So we have a list here of drain, gate, and source, and they go in order of one, two, and three. So drain is one, and then we move on from there. Drain is one, gate is two, and source is three. Again, it's just the order that's relevant here. You don't want to pay attention to the three, four, five. All right, we're on step eight. We can place this into a family in the transistors grouping. I already have a couple listed here, but let's go ahead and make a new one for PMOS. Just helps to keep things organized. And you're done. Got the device placed and ready to go. Now, when it comes time to looking for this later on, instead of going to the master database, you want to pick the user database. Find your PMOS family. There's the device, and we are ready to go. All right, that was good. Not too hard, and you can really apply that technique for any device that you like.